Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick show, playing more audiobook production. We're making our uh, our book. So the uh, thing we're working on here, this is a my own edition of a uh, epic ancient Greek story called the Post Homerica. It's uh, I'll post it in the chat here as well. It's going to be coming out as a, a book edition as well as an audiobook edition. We're currently producing the audiobook right now. So let's keep going. Here we go. Of her travail, of where the sun steeds leap from orient waves, telling withal of all his wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam's wall, and spur to Priam's wall, the great army of the solid. Yea, he told how to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida, all of all his wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam. Priam's ocean's verge to Priam's wall and maybe we could get it like this. Wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. With all of all his wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. Yea, the great ocean's verge to Priam's wall. Strange immortality by the dawn god. So let's see what this sentence is. Memnon has arrived into Troy, which is the second sort of like godly champion that arrives to try and help Troy against the Greeks. Um, and they're swapping stories over dinner. Let's see what's happening here. Therefore, with all observance, welcomed he the strong son of the Lady of the Dawn, with goodly gifts and with abundant cheer. So at the banquet, king and hero sat and talked, this telling of the Danaean chiefs and all the woes himself had suffered. That, telling of that strange immortality by the dawn goddess given to his sire, telling of the unending flow and ebb of the sea mother, of the sacred flood of ocean fathomless rolling, of the bounds of earth that wearieth never of her travail, of where the sun steeds leap from orient waves, telling withal of all his wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. Yea, he told how his strong hands smote the great army of the sp to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. Yea, he told how his all of all his wayfaring from ocean's verge to Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. Yea, he told how his strong hands smote the great army of the Solomai who barred his way. The great army of the Solomai who barred his way, whose deed presumptuous brought, whose deed presumptuous, whose deed presumptuous of the Solomai who barred his way, who brought upon their my who barred his way, whose. Deed Solomai, who barred his way, whose deed presumptuous brought upon their own heads crushing ruin and ru who brought upon their own heads brought upon Okay. Presumptuous brought upon their own heads. Good. Deed presumptuous brought upon their own head whose deed presumptuous brought upon their own heads crushing ruin and woe. So told he and told of their own heads crushing ruin and woe. So told he all that marvelous tale, and told the Solomai who barred his way, whose deed presumptuous brought up Priam's wall and spurs of Ida. Yea, he told how his strong hands smote the great army of the Solomai who barred his way, whose deed presumptuous brought upon their own heads crushing ruin and woe. So told he all that Good. marvelous tale, and told of countless tribes and nations seen of him, and Priam heard. And told of countless tribes and nations seen of him, and Priam heard. Oh, right, okay. And told of countless tale, and told of countless tribes and nations, told he all that marvelous tale, and told of countless tribes and nations seen of him, and Priam heard, and ever glowed, tribes and nations seen of him, and Priam heard, and ever glowed his heart within him, and the old lips answering spake, spake that on the, Priam heard, and ever glowed his heart within him, Priam heard, and ever glowed his heart within him. And the old lips answering spake, and the old lips answering spake. 
and the old lips ever glowed his heart within him, and the old lips answering spake. Memnon, the gods are good. Memnon, the Memnon, the gods are good, who have vouchsafed. I like the first one. Memnon, the gods are good, who have vouchsafed to me to look upon thine host and thee, to look upon thine host and thee here in mine halls. Answering spake. Old lips answering spake. Memnon, the gods are good. Answering spake. Memnon, the gods are good, who have vouchsafed to me to look upon thine, look up, to look, look up, upon thine. Maybe thine. Thine. Yeah, that's good. Look upon thine host and thee, safe to me to look upon thine host and thee here in mine halls, here in mine halls, here in mine halls. Oh, that they're great. Thee here in mine halls. Oh, that in mine halls. Oh, that their grace would so crown. None, the gods are good, who have vouchsafed to me to look upon thine host and thee. I think that needs a little bit of extra time, actually. Them, none, the gods are good, who have vouchsafed to me to look upon thine host and thee here in mine halls. Oh, that their grace would so crown this as their. Oh, that their grace would so crown this their boon, that I might see my... Th mm, I like this better, but I didn't do a full take of it. That's my fault. Oh, that their grace would so crown this as their... Their grace would so... Cr yeah, there's no way these are going to match up. Grace would so crown this their boon. Yeah, so we'll just have to replace the take with this one. Here in mine halls. Oh, that their grace would so crown this their boon, that I might see my throes all... That I might see my foes. So oh, crown this their boon, that I might see my foes all thrust to one destruction by thy spears. For marvelous that well may be, for marvelous destruction by thy spears. That will to one destruction by thy spears. That will destruction by thy spears. That well may be, for marvelous. Yep, good. Spears. That well may be. For marvelous like art thou to some invincible deathless one, yea, more than any earthly hero, yea, more than any earthly hero. Wherefore thou I trust, wherefore thou I trust, art thou to some invincible deathless one, yea, more than any earthly hero, some invincible deathless one, yea, thou to some invincible deathless one, yea, more than any earthly hero. Wherefore thou, wherefore thou I trust, wherefore thou I trust shall, wherefore thou, wherefore thou I trust shalt her wild, shalt her wild havoc. Wherefore thou I trust shalt her wild, wherefore thou I trust, wherefore thou I trust shalt, thou I trust. Yea, more than any earthly hero. Wherefore than any earthly hero wherefore a more than any earthly hero wherefore thou i trust shalt very hard to say that sentence shalt hurl wild havoc throughout their host wherefore thou i trust shalt hurl wild havoc through their host shalt hurl wild havoc through their host but now i pr shalt hurl wild havoc throughout their host shalt so what's the correct sentence here Shalt hurl wild havoc through their host. Then him. Oh, that on destruction by thy spears. That well may be. For marvelous like art thou to some invincible deathless one. Yea, more than any earthly hero. Okay, that's Wherefore correct. thou, I trust, shalt hurl wild, hurl wild havoc through their host. Shalt hurl wild havoc through their host. That's better. Shalt I wonder if this will match up.
a wild trust shalt hurl wild havoc through the therefore thou I trust shalt hurl wild havoc through their host. Yeah, it's good. But now I pray thee, for this day havoc through the through their host. But now I pray wild havoc through their host. But now I pray thee, for this day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart. For this day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart, and with the mo that was good. But now I pray thee, for this day. But now I pray thee, for this day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart, and with the morn shalt go forth to battle worthy of thee. For this day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart, and with the morn shall go forth to battle worthy of thee. Then in his hands a. And with the morn shall heart, and with the morn. Day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart. And with the morn shall go my feast thine heart. And with the morn day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart. And with the morn shall pray thee. For this day But now I pray thee. For this day do thou cheer at my feast thine heart. And with the morn shall go forth to battle worthy of thee. Then in his hands a chalice deep and wide forth to battle worthy of thee. Then in his hands a chalice. This is pretty interesting, this part where they describe the chalice, which was handed down actually from Hephaestus to Zeus, and then made its way down to Troy. It's interesting that they, they track the lineage of this chalice. It's the chalice Hephaestus gave to Zeus uh, for, for allowing him to marry, uh, what's her name, Aphrodite. Shall go forth to battle worthy of thee. Then in his hands a chalice deep and wide he raised, and Memnon in love and Memnon in all love he pledged, and Memnon in all love he pledged in that huge love he pledged in that huge golden cup, a gift of gods. Apparently Hephaestus' name was deep and wide he raised, and Memnon There's three there's two pronunciations I've ever heard. It's Hephaestus or Hephaestus. Um, but when I looked it up, it said uh, like the Greek way of saying it would be Hephaestus. But I just couldn't I couldn't do that. I could, it didn't sound right to me, so I, I just made a, an executive decision and I, I chose to do Hephaestus because it's the way that sounds right to me. Then in his hands a chalice deep and wide he raised, and Memnon in all love chalice deep and wide he raised, and Memnon in all love he pledged in that huge golden cup, a gift of gods. For this the cunning godsmith brought to, for this the cunning, what time the mighty in that huge golden cup, a gift of gods. For this cup, a gift of gods. For this, the cunning godsmith brought to Zeus his masterpiece. What time the mighty... What time the mighty in power to... What time the... Gave for bride this... What time the mighty in power to Hephaestus gave the bride... Zeus, his masterpiece. What time the... His masterpiece. What time the mighty in power to Hephaestus gave for bride the Cyprian queen? Masterpiece. What time the mighty in power to Hephaestus gave for bride the Cyprian queen? Gave for bride the Cyprian queen. By the Cyprian queen. And Zeus on and Zeus on Dardanus on his godlike. By the Cyprian queen. And Zeus on Dardanus his godlike son bestowed it. He on Erichthonia, Cyprian queen, and Zeus on Dardanus, his godlike son, bestowed it. He on Erichthonius, his godlike son, bestowed it. On his godlike, he on Erichthonius, his godlike son, bestowed it. He on Erichthonius, Erichthonius to Tros, the great of heart, gave it. Erichthonius to Tros. The so yeah, you're you're hearing how this cup came all the way down from you know the gods on high and made its way to Priam. And Zeus on Dardanus, his godlike son, bestowed it. He on Erichthonius, Erichthonius to Tros, the son bestowed it. He on Erichthonius. Erichthonius to Tros, the great of heart, gave it, 
and he with all his treasure store bequeathed it unto and he with all his treasure store bequeathed it unto Illus, and he gave that wonder to Lan Tros, the great of heart gave it. Tros, the great of heart gave it, and he with all his treasure store bequeathed it unto Illus, to Tros, the great of heart gave it, and he with all his treasure store bequeathed it unto Illus, and he gave that wonder to Laomedon, and he to Priam, who had th or bequeathed it unto Illus. And he gave that one treasure store bequeathed it unto Illus, and he gave that wonder to Laomedon, and he to Priam, who had thought to leave the same to his own son. Fate had ordered otherwise. Fate had ordered otherwise. Leave the same to his own son. Fate had ordered otherwise. Fate had ordered otherwise. Fate had ordered otherwise. It's hard to say that and and try and deliver it properly but also not have your voice correct fate had ordered otherwise leave the same fate had ordered otherwise fate had ordered otherwise leave the same to his own son fate had ordered otherwise let's combine two takes actually fate had ordered otherwise own son fate had ordered otherwise one, two. To leave the same to his own son. Fate had ordered otherwise. Fate had ordered otherwise. Yeah, I like the one we have. And Memnon clasped his hand. Otherwise. Had ordered otherwise. And Memnon clasped his hands. And Memnon clasped his hand. Fate had ordered otherwise. And Memnon clasped his hands. And Memnon clasped his hands about that. Clasped is a hard word to say, especially in the midst of a sentence. It's like a lot of weird uh, mouth movements combined. Thought to leave the same to his own son. Fate had ordered otherwise. And Memnon clasped his hands about that cup so peerless beautiful. And all his heart marveled. And thus he spake unto the king. Be okay, so hold on. Got to raise that. Fate had ordered otherwise. And Memnon clasped his hands about that cup so peerless beautiful, and all his heart marveled. And thus he spake unto the king. Spake unto the king. Spake unto the king. <clears throat> heart marveled. And thus he spake unto the king. Be seems not with great swelling words to vaunt amidst the feast and lavish promises, but rather quietly to eat in whole, but rather quietly to eat in whole, and to divide whether I be. Be seems not with great swelling words to vaunt amidst the feast and lavish promises, but rather quietly to eat in whole, and to devise deeds worthy. Whether I be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Whether I be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Battle. Worthy. Whether I be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Battle. To devise deeds worthy. Whether I be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Whether I be brave and strong, or whether. I Damn, I like the delivery of that better, but not the ending. Or whether I be not. I don't like the not in that part. Whether I be not. Whether I. Whether. Let's see if we can combine takes. Be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Yeah, uh, it worked pretty well. Okay. Now we'll do it for real. Be brave and strong, or whether I be not. Battle. Battle. Wherein a man's truth. Battle. 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 No, I don't like those ones. Approved. Wherein a man's tr I think the first one is good. Not battle, battle. Oh no, the second one. Whether I be not battle. Strong or whether I be not battle. Wherein a man's true might is seen. Shall it needs to be louder and it needs to be quieter. Or whether I be not battle. Wherein a man's true might is seen. Shall prove to thee. Now would I risk. Okay. Gotta make.
make sure we save it. Strong or whether I be not, battle, wherein a man's true might is seen, shall prove to thee. Now would I rest, nor drink thee long night through. Now would I rest, shall prove to thee. Now would I rest, I rest, nor drink. Now would I rest, nor drink thee long night through. The battle eager spirit by measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled. By measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled. Marveled at him the old king. As seems lack of sleep is dulled. Measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled. Wine and lack of sleep. By measureless by me Let's see if we can get away with this. The battle eager spirit by measureless wine. No, I don't like that. Wine. We can do it right here. Battle eager spirit by measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled. Better. Battle, wherein a man's true might is seen, shall prove to thee. Now would I rest, nor drink thee long night through. The battle eager spirit by measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled. As seems thee good, as seems marveled at him the old king and he said is dulled dulled let's put our one second between that raise this good measureless wine and lack of sleep is dulled marveled at him the old king and he said as seems good as seems thee good touching the banquet do after thy pleasure Right, that's correctly delivered. That's a really tough sentence to parse, but we got it. And he said, Old King, and he said, As him the old king, and he said, As seems thee good touching the banquet, do after thy pleasure. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. Yeah, it's a really tough sentence. As seems thee good touching the banquet, do after thy pleasure which is essentially to say, whatever you think is best, you do that. But that's really, it's, it's a tough one to, because you have to actually understand the sentence in order to deliver it properly, obviously. And when you're working with this kind of text, it can be tough to understand it in general sometimes. Fine and lack of sleep is dulled. Marveled at him the old king and he said, as seems thee good touching the banquet, do after thy pleasure. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. Yea, I, when thou art loath, will not. I like the first one. I, when thou art loath, will not. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. You just need to remove some time in there. Do after thy pleasure. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. As seems thee good touching the banquet, do after thy pleasure. I, when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. Yea, unmeet is. Yea, unmeet is it to hold back him who fain would leave the board, or hurry from one's holes one who fain would stay. At loath, will not constrain thee. Yea, will not constrain thee. Yea, un when thou art loath, will not constrain thee. Yea, unmeet is it to hold back him who fain would leave the board. Strain thee. Yea, unmeet is it to hold back him who fain would leave the board, or hurry from one's holes one who fain would stay. So is the good old back him who fain would leave the board, or hurry from one's holes one who fain would stay. So is the good old law with so is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. Then rose that ch So is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. When you read good old law, you want to deliver it as the good old law, like the good old days. But that's not really the way they meant for it to say. But it also kind of sounds right when you say it like that. So is the good old so is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with... 
Hmm. So is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. So is the good old law with all true men. We're gonna go with the last one. Was one who fain would stay. Who fain would stay. So is. Or hurry from one's holes, one who fain would stay. So is the good old law with all true men. Holes, one who fain would stay. So is the good old law with all true men. Then rose that champion. Because they're basically saying, like, so is the, the equivalent of saying, like, so is the ancient law. So is the good, the good time-honored law. Good old law with all true men. Then rose that champion from the board and passed. Then, then rose that champion from the board. There we go. That's better. So is the good old law with all true men. Then rose that champ. Law with all true men. Then rose that champion from the board and passed thence to his sleep. His last. His last. I like that one where the, the bloodthirsty narrator comes out for one second just to say that. With all true men. Then rose that champ. For the eagle eyed listeners out there, eagle eared, I suppose, you'll recognize that this the structure of this chapter is almost identical to the Penthesilea chapter, where it's like the Trojans are despairing, a new champion comes in, Penthesilea, she feasts with them, uh, goes to sleep, and then the narrator says, but it was destined to be her last sleep or whatever. Like it's the exact same structure actually, uh, which is common in, in these Greek stories that, that was sort of like a thing, these recurring uh, themes and recurring uh, passages and stuff. It's the same as why they call it the wine dark sea like 50,000 times in the Odyssey and Iliad and stuff. It's kind of like the, when they would, de or they would describe Athena as gray eyed a million times instead of coming up with a new description. It's it's sort of like a tradition within the format. Fain would leave the board, or hurry from one's holes, one who fain would stay. So is the good old law with all true men. This needs to be a little shorter. Unmeet is it to hold back him who fain would leave the board, or hurry from one's holes, one who fain would stay. So is the good old law with all true men. Then rose that champion from the board, and passed thence to his sleep, his last. And with him went all others from the bank. I like that. I think we need to make it a little shorter. Then rose that champion from the board, and passed thence to his sleep, his last. No, I like it with the that long That champion pause. from the board, and passed thence to his sleep, his last. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest. And with him went all other, and with him went all others from the banquet to their rest, and gentle sleep slid down upon them soon. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest, and gentle sleep slid down upon them soon. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest. Mm, first part of that, second part of the other. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest. And gentle sleep slid down upon them soon. His last. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest. And gentle sleep slid down upon them soon. His last. His last. And with him went all others from the banquet to their rest. And gentle sleep slid down upon them soon. Okay. Oh, this part's cool. This is the first part in this story. In the Iliad, it happens a lot, but uh, it has not occurred until now that we actually see the gods up in Olympus talking to each other, uh, which is what's about to happen here. Down upon them soon. But in the halls of Zeus, the lightning lord. Upon them soon. But in the halls of Zeus, the lightning lord feasted the gods the while, and Kronos' son, all father of his deep fore, and Kronos' son, all father of his deep foreknowledge, spake. There we go. 
stood the gods the while, and Kronos' son, all father, of his deep foreknowledge spake. All father of his deep foreknowledge spake. Good. I forget what my Zeus voice was. Be it no of his deep foreknowledge spake amidst them the Oops. issue of the Okay, <laughs> there's more to it. All father of his deep foreknowledge All father of his deep foreknowledge spake amidst them the issue of the strife. Timon shall Timon sh be it known unto you all. Be it known unto you all. The issue of the strife. Be it known. Issue of the strife. Be it known unto you all. Timon shall bring. Be it known unto you all. Timon shall bring by. Timon shall bring by yonder. For many mighty. Timon shall bring by yonder war affliction swift and sore. For many yonder war affliction swift and sore. Timon shall bring by yonder war affliction swift and sore. I like that one better. Timon shall bring the war affliction swift and sore. Yonder war affliction swift and sore. Unto you all. Timon shall bring by yonder war affliction swift and sore. Hmm. There's aspects of both of these takes I don't really like. We could always redo it. Shall bring by yonder war afflictions swift and sore. For many mighty horses. For many mighty horses shall you see in either host. Therefore you. Swift and sore. Afflictions swift and sore. For many. Afflictions swift and sore. For many mighty. And swift and sore. For many mighty horses shall you see in our Why did I deliver it like that? Hold on. What else we got? Timon shall bring by young For many mighty horses shall you see. For many mighty horses. Both of those are better, but I didn't continue the takes. For many mighty horses shall you Let's see what we can do with this. Horses. horses. It's going to be tough. Please. Horses shall Many mighty horses shall you see in either horse beside the For many mighty horses shall you see in either horse beside the swift and sore. For many mighty afflictions swift and sore. Known unto you all. I wanted to make Zeus kind of feel like he's just annoyed with everybody. Because that's all he ever really is. Like everybody goes up and asks him for stuff. And he's basically preempting. He's saying like, don't ask me for anything. A lot of people are going to die, you know, a lot of you gods have people you care about down there. I will not grant any requests, is what he's about to say. War afflictions swift and sore. For many mighty... By yonder war afflictions swift and sore. For many mighty horses shall you see in either host beside the chariot slain, and many heroes perishing. Therefore ye rem... Get slain, and many heroes perishing. Therefore, you remember these. Be in either host beside the chariot slain, and many heroes perishing. Therefore, you remember these my words, however ye grieve for dear ones. Let none clasp my knees in prayer, since even to us relentless. Let none clasp my knees in prayer, since even, since even to us relentless are the fates, which knew before that all should since even to us relentless are the fates relentless are the fates relentless are the fates I like this combined with this maybe since even to us relentless are the fates yeah we need to raise that one though. since even to us relentless us relentless are even to us relentless are the even to us, relentless are the fates. Dear ones, let none, let none clasp my knee. For dear ones, let none clasp my knees in prayer, since even to us, clasp my knees in prayer, since even to us, relentless are the fates. 
yeah, the, it, it's interesting the plight of the Greek god because they are not like a lot of other deities where uh, other cultural deities where they're just kind of like impassive or like the, their whole thing is that they like emote very strongly like a human. So they, and they have like five zillion children, you know, Zeus is the father of like a million different Greek characters. And uh, every time one of them dies, it's like the end of the world to them. And it's it's pretty interesting to think about that, that they, they're they like being hurt all the time, even though they can't actually be killed. Emotionally, they're going through a crazy situation. So warned he them, which knew before that all should from the battle. So warned he them. To us, relentless are the fates. So warned he them, which knew before, that all should from the battle stand aside. That all should from the battle... Thank you. Which knew before, that all should from the battle... Warned he them, which knew before... So warned he them, which knew before, that all should from the battle stand aside, however heart wrung, however heart wrung, that none petitioning... However heart wrung, that none petitioning for a son or dear one should, for a son or dear one, should to Olympus vainly come. Dear one, petitioning for a son or dear one, should to Olympus vainly come. So at that war, son or dear one, should to Olympus vainly come. That none petitioning for a son or dear one, should to Olympus vainly come. So at that warning of the Thunderer, the son of Kronos, all they steal their hearts to bear. It's vainly come. So at that warning to Olympus vainly come. So at that warning of the Thunderer, the son of Kronos, all they steal their hearts to bear. Son of Kronos, all they steal their hearts to bear, and spake no word against their king. For in exceeding awe they stood of him. Yet to their several mansions, yet to their several mansions, no word against their king. For in exceeding word against their king. For in exceeding awe they stood of him. Yeah, Zeus is like, uh, he does, he is swayed sometimes, but most of the time uh, when he's swayed, it's because somebody tricked him. And every time he gets tricked, he gets more angry that he's able to be tricked. And so he gets really upset. Like, you know, th this is like an interesting situation where he's, uh, he's actually just saying like, I know you're gonna try and trick me because somebody is gonna want to resurrect somebody or whatever, but don't even try it. No word against their king, for an exceeding awe, and spake no word against their king. For in exceeding awe they stood of him. Yet to their several men over their deathless awe they stood of him. Yet to their several mansions and their rest with sore hearts went they. Hearts to bear, and spake no word against their king. For in exceeding awe they stood of him. Yet to their several mansions and their rest with sore hearts went they. Over, over, over their deathless eyes, the blessing bringer sleep, his light veils spread. Over their deathless eyes, the blessing bringer sleep, his light veils spread. With sore hearts went they. Over their sore hearts went they. Over their deathless eyes, the blessing bringer sleep, his light hearts went they. Over their deathless eyes, the blessing bringer sleep, his light veils spread. awe they stood of him. Yet to their several mansions and their rest with sore hearts went they. Over their deathless eyes the blessing bringer sleep his light veils spread. Sleep his light veil. Can we get a little extra pause in here? Sighs the blessing bringer sleep his light veils. Oh wait that's 
That's the P right there. Bring her sleep, his light bales. Bring her sleep, his light bales spread. Over their deathless eyes, the blessing bring her sleep, his light bales spread. Blessing bring her sleep, his light bales spread. Oh, you need that. Sleep, his light bale. Deathless eyes, the blessing bring her sleep, his light bales spread. Okie dokie. We're moving, ladies and gents. Rouseth to their toil when over precipitous crests of. All this stuff needs to get raised. I should probably just raise the entire thing, but. His light bales spread. When over precipitous crests of mountain walls leapt up broad heaven, the precipitous crests of over precipitous crests of mountain walls leapt up broad heaven, the bright morning star, who rouseth to their tolls, who rouseth to their toil, who rouseth, who rouseth, and his, who rouseth to their toils from slumber sweet, the binders of the sheep, who rouseth to their tolls from slumber oh, to their tolls to their toils from slumber. Who rouseth to their toils from slumber sweet the binders of the sheep? Who rouseth to their toils from slumber sweet the binders of the sheep? The binders of the sheep. The binders of the sheep. The binders of the sheep. Heaven, the bright morning star, who rouseth. Precipitous crests of mountain walls leapt up broad heaven, the bright morning star, who rouseth to their toils from slumber sweet, the binders of the sheep. Then his last toils from slumber sweet, the binders of the sheep. Then his last sleep unclasped the warrior son of her who brings light to the world. Then his last sleep unclasped the warrior son, the warrior son of her who brings light to the world. Last sleep unclasp the warrior son of her who brings light to the world, a child of mists of night. It's also interesting uh, if you consider the way that these stories go, like this chapter is literally called How uh, Memnon's Son of the Dawn, for Troy's sake, fell in the battle. So it's literally the chapter starts by saying this guy dies in this chapter. And then throughout the whole chapter, they keep reminding you of it. It's like, you know, they're saying, like, it's going to be his sleep, his last. And, like, you know, he roused from his final sleep or whatever. And they do that same thing they did with Penthesilea where they say, like, fool, she thought she could beat, you know, this thing, but it wasn't to be. And, like, they do the same thing with Memnon. And uh, reading a Greek story like this or hearing one as well, it uh, the way they're written, it's like, uh, it's like being in uh, Slaughterhouse Five or like the movie Arrival, where like you are aware of the entire timeline before you ever even get into the story, you know, like you exist in multiple, it's almost like you are Zeus who knows the outcome of the battle before the battle. Um, because you, you, they'll even describe like the stuff that's about to happen before it happens. Uh, to you, the reader. So, like in a traditional story, that kind of ruins the suspense completely because you're like, oh, now I know it. Now I already know what's going to happen in this battle. And why are you bothering to tell me the rest of it? Because you already told me what happens. But it's it makes it really an interesting experience of reading it because it's not necessarily about you're enjoying the battle in the way that the gods enjoy it, where sometimes they know already what the outcome is, but they just want to see what happens like the destination, the, or the journey rather than the destination. Broad heaven, the bright morning star, who rouseth to their toils from slumber sweet, the binders of the sheep. Then his last sleep unclasped the warrior son of her who brings light to the world, the child of mists of night. Now swelled his might, now swelled his mighty mists of night. Now child of mists of night. Now swelled his mighty heart with eagerness to battle with the foe forthright, and dawn with most reluctant feet began to climb heaven's broad highway. Yeah, it's still too low. The 
child of mists of night. Now swelled his mighty heart with eagerness to battle with the foe forthright, and dawn with most reluctant then did the Trojan with the foe forthright, and dawn with most reluctant feet began to climb heaven's broad highway. Then did the tro broad highway. Then did the tro climb heaven's broad highway. Then did the Trojans gird their battle harness on, then arm themselves the Ethiop men, and all the mingled tribes of those war helpers that of those war helpers that from many lands tribes of those, those war helpers those war from many lands war help helpers damn I can't get that from maybe those war helpers that from many lands helpers tribes of those war helpers that from yep. all the mingled tribes of those war helpers that from many lands to and all the mingled tribes of those war helpers that from many lands to Priam's aid were gathered. Forth the gates swiftly they rushed, like dark Priam's aid were gathered. Forth the gates swiftly they rushed, like darkly lowering clouds, which like darkly lowering clouds herdeth together, which Kronos so they rushed, like darkly lowering clouds, which Kronos sun when storm is rolling up, which Kronos sun, when storm is which Kronos sun, which Kronos sun, when storm is Kronos sun, when storm, which Kronos sun, when storm, lowering clouds, which Kronos sun, when storm is rolling up, herdeth together through the welkin wide, herdeth together through the welkin wide, swiftly the whole plain. So now. Trojans are entering the fray. Storm is rolling up. Herdeth together. Sun, when storm is rolling up. Herdeth together through the welkin wide. Swiftly the whole plain. Swiftly the whole plain filled. We lowering clouds, which Kronos sun, when storm is rolling up. Herdeth together through the welkin wide. Swiftly the whole plain filled. Onward they. Good the welkin wide swiftly the whole plain filled onward they onward they the whole plain filled onward they swiftly the whole plain filled onward they streamed swiftly the whole plain filled onward they streamed together through the welkin wide swiftly the whole plain filled onward they streamed like harvest ravaging locusts, drifting on in fashion of heavy brooding rain clouds, drifting on in fashion of harvest ravaging locusts, drift like harvest ravaging locusts, harvest ravaging locusts, mm. drift, drifting on, 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 and I think we can still get it. Fashion, drifting on in fashion of heavy brooding rain clouds. It's a little clunky. Drifting on in fashion of heavy brooding rain. Maybe if we raise this part. We don't have anything better. We don't have any coverage. Where they streamed. Like harvest ravaging locusts. Drifting on in fashion of heavy brooding rain clouds. That worked. Over wide plains of earth. And irresistible heavy brooding rain clouds. Over wide. Heavy brooding rain clouds. Over wide plains of earth. Heavy brooding rain clouds. Over wide plains of earth. And irresistible host. Bringing wan famine on the sword, bringing wan famine on the sons of men. So in their might and mo now we're getting bloodthirsty. See, like when they wake up at the beginning of the day, I try to make it a little more docile in the narration, and then as the battle starts to heat up, gets a little bit more bringing wan. So bringing a little bit more exciting. An irresistible host bringing wan famine on the sons of. <clears throat> rain clouds over wide plains of earth, an irresistible host bringing wan famine on the sons of men. So in their might, so in their mighty, so in their might and multitude they went. The city street bringing wan famine on the sons of men. So in their might and multitude, sons of men. So in their might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them. The city streets were all too straight for them. 
marching. Up soared the dust from underfoot. Up soared the dust. The city streets were all too straight for them, marching. Up soared the dust from underfoot. Up soared the dust from underfoot. Okay, that might be a little too, too aggressive. Up soared the dust from underfoot for them, marching. Up soared the dust from underfoot. The city streets were all too straight for them, marching. Mm, I don't like that. Might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them. Let's raise that. So in their might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them, marching. Up soared the dust. It's were all too straight for them, marching. Up soared the dust from underfoot. From far, the Argon. Might and on famine on the sons of men. So in their might and multitude they went over wide plains of earth, an irresistible host, bringing wan famine on the sons of men. So in their might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them. Might and multitude they went. The city streets were all. Yeah, needs to be able to might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them. A host, bringing wan famine on the sons of men. So in their might and multitude they went. The city streets were all too straight for them, marching. Up soared the dust from underfoot. From far the Argives gazed, and marveling saw their onrush, but with speed arrayed their limbs. Argives gazed, and marveling saw their onrush, but with speed arrayed and saw their onrush, but with speed saw their onrush. But with speed arrayed their limbs in brass. We might just want to raise every single thing in this clip. It's all too quiet. I just have to keep raising it. There we go. This thing doesn't actually chop off the top. Like this part might be a little chopped off, but usually it does pretty good like equalization. So it doesn't really, it's not just completely distorted when you chop off the top like that. From up soared the dust from underfoot. From far the Argives gazed, and marveling saw their onrush, but with speed arrayed their limbs in brass, and in the might of Peleus' son put their glad trust. Amidst them rode he. And I guess if we're concerned, we could always just do this. Far the Argives gazed, for the dust from underfoot. From far the Argives gazed, and marveling saw their onrush, but with speed arrayed their limbs in brass, and in the might of Peleus' son put their glad trust. Amidst them rode he. Amidst them rode Peleus' son being Achilles. Glad trust. Amidst them their glad trust. Amidst them rode he on like to a giant titan, glorying in steeds and chariots while his armor put their glad trust. Amidst them, they their limbs in brass, saw their onrush, but with speed arrayed their limbs in brass, and in the might of Peleus' son put their glad trust. Amidst them rode he on like to a giant titan, glorying in steeds and chariot, while his armor flashed splendor, while his armor, it was as when the Steeds and chariot, while his armor flashed splendor around in sudden lightning gleams. It was as when the it was as when the sun from utmost bounds of earth splendor around in sudden lightning gleams. It was as when the sun from utmost bound in sudden lightning gleams. It was as when the sun from utmost bounds of earth encompassing ocean comes and brings light to the world and flings his splendor wide through heaven and earth and air lap all around. So glorious mid the Argives Peleus' son rode onward. Mid the Trojans rode while the... Mid the Trojans rode the while Memnon the hero... Mid the Trojans, even such to see... 
Clea's son rode onward. Mid the Trojans rode the while Memnon the hero, even such to see as even such to see as Ares furious even such to see as Ares even such to see as Ares furious hearted. Onward swept the eager host a mm. Onward Thank swept you. the eager host. Mm. Onward swept the eager host, arrayed by their lord. There you go. Their lap all around, so glorious mid the Argives Peleus' son rode onward. Mid the Trojans rode the while Memnon the hero. Argives Peleus' son rode onward. Mid the Trojans rode the while Memnon the hero, even such to see as Ares furious hearted. Onward swept the eager host, arrayed by their lord. Good. So we're pretty far through the first clip. This isn't the entire first chapter, this one clip, though. I think I recorded it in three clips. But it's nice to be making progress, that's for sure. Good stuff, ladies and gents. That's going to do it for the Post America audiobook production this time. Thank you for joining. If you want to see where this book is going to end up, you can uh, click the link I'm going to post in the chat here. It's my narrator page on Audible. This book will be available for sale on Audible when it's finished and then once it goes through the approvals process on Audible's side. So keep your eyes on that page and uh, it'll also be out in a print edition on Amazon, Kindle and whatever else Amazon offers. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.